study and study about automotive science. You can, you know, most, most guys can pull apart an engine, pull apart a bike, but you got to also learn why they make this particular part. What is the purpose of this part? Why they use this type of material? So in other words, you need to learn the science of Question. When did you start doing mechanics, like fixing stuff and all that? From a very young age. And I actually start from around 10. Yeah. And that was with my father, lawnmower engine. He had more than one lawnmower, and one day I said to him, oh, can you give me one of the lawnmower engine that I try? And he gave me. But different from that, you know, sometimes we used to walk past this quarry that have a lot of big tractors. And I remember <laughs> one day, you know, we go in the bushes and looking at the guys fixing the engine, but we was afraid, we didn't want them to see us. So we was hiding in the bushes and looking and one of the guys see us and we run and he called us back and said, hey, come over here, come over here. And he called us over and I never forget, he take up a valve and he said, this is a valve. And anytime you guys see us fixing the engine, feel free to come and ask us and look what we're doing. And my career starts from there. There's no, I can't give you a one specific thing that made me into the mechanic I am today. It's a combination of many things. Many different people sharing their knowledge with me, working on different current vehicles, and also continue studying. Because with automotive technology, it always evolved. So something new always come on the car that just released. So you have to keep up with that technology if you want to be a top mechanic. And uh, what type of mechanic are you? Like, what do you? What type of cars and stuff, or what type of vehicles do you fix? I fix all different type of people. I work on cars, I work on trucks, I work on bikes, I work on anything with an engine. I work on not just car, but also different type of cars. So you have European car, Japanese cars, you know, Asian car, all different type of cars. And each one of them have a different philosophy all day produce those cars and the design. And you know, over the years, I gained a lot of experience working on different ones. And then when you talk about heavy equipment like tractor, truck, I work on those also. Um, have you ever done anything like, have you done an engine swap? Yes. Does, can you do it with any engine or any car? Basically, you can do it with any car, but it takes a lot of time and a lot of technical know-how. So, we can take, or before, let's say some country that the person does not have a lot of money to spend on the cars. Someone might have, let's say, a diesel engine, and this engine is very expensive, to repair it or you know the engine damage and need to be replaced they might choose to replace it with a gasoline engine so in that way we can swap the engine out and change it from a diesel to a gasoline install the computer or if it's carbureted install the fuel system for a carburetor so yes we can do that so I've seen this person on YouTube where they just like cut off pieces of cars and put different pieces so yep. the engine fits. Do you do that or it's just people that want to like make their stuff fit? No, we do that too. Huh. And, and it's okay to do it but it have, it have a positive and a negative to it. If it don't do properly, then the car can literally break in the spot that it's joined. So 
you have a certain techniques that you got to use to open each panel and fit back each panel original like how it was from the factory. Not just use a saw and cut this off, put this there and weld it on there. You ask a question. <coughs> Uh, the reason I want to be a mechanic of my day is a like, mechanic too. Yes. Stuff, but not really like on um, bikes or cars, just those like the cars and things. Okay. Good. So how do you plan to, to become a mechanic? What's the plan? What's your plan? So if you start from like a young age, being a mechanic, you could like learn from like other people in the mechanic shop that you work at. Yes. And then once you get like really good at it, you could like make like a lot of money. Yes. But first, don't forget your question. But first, you got to develop a passion for it. Because if you just do the mechanic just for the money, then you will run into a lot of problems. Yeah. Because okay. sometimes cars give trouble that you didn't see before, you never experienced before. And you have to have that strong will to want to find the problem and not run away, yeah. pass it off to another garage. Do you understand? Yeah. Yes. I was gonna say, I think you should start from like a young age, like you said, like maybe like when they just when they go to the garage first time, they say, oh, but my friend in the delivery truck is getting $25 an hour. How can you pay me 15 So you don't want to learn. You have, you have to look long term. After you study, after you gain the experience, then who's going to have more earning power? The mechanic, right? Because it's no since it's developed and that's how it's called so they can like thirty and out. Yes. So that's why you can't be disencouraged if you go to the garage to become an apprentice and they don't offer you a big salary. Your objective is to be is to learn. So for me, I remember like about six of us go to the garage as an apprentice. The school send us, and when we go, we work for like a month, and they say no pay, and like three guys just didn't come back <laughs> because no salary, right? But we guys talk, and we oh, we're not getting any pay now, but when we become a mechanic, we're going to make big bucks, right? So we just stick with it, and that's how it worked out. Some, yes, you. Um, what's the what's the um, what's the best car you've ever worked on? Oh, I work on so much. I work on Ferrari. I work on Mercedes. I work on Drago. So for me, it's like I work on some nice Toyotas and Nissan, also Japanese cars. <laughs> So for me, the question, it, it kind of, it boiled down into which era of car, the best car you worked on. So for the Ola car, I like a E-type Jaguar, come with a V12 engine. And then you have the newer car like Volvo, Mercedes, BMW. Ferrari and those type of car. I work on those type of car. We're going to wrap it up now. My young lady don't say nothing, but there's a space in automotive technology for you to. In the automotive world, if you see a car dealer, there's always a lady working there. It don't necessarily mean she's a mechanic, but in many a case, that you will find a lady that study mechanic, and that study from the mechanic always help her to become the person they're looking for for the office. 
for example, when somebody come in to speak about their car and a problem, it's much easier for somebody to communicate and understand when they have some knowledge about automotive, about car. So, sometimes we will advertise a job for somebody to work in the office, and you see 20 persons apply. And you see they apply with good experience, some working in the insurance industry, some working in exam company. But I would look and say, man, this one lady here, she did do a mechanic program. And this made the difference, even though, even though the other ladies more qualified, more experienced, but just have this knowledge about cars, made this lady stand out. If you want to study and let's say participate in the automotive industry, there's a place for you. And you don't have to worry about your hands greased up or your lifting out engine. There's a lot lot dimension to the automotive industry for a lady. Um, is this the car you worked on? <laughs> like this? Let's show you well, which one really I work cool. on. I worked on this one here before. That's an old, but that's not the E Type 12, but that's a sports juggle. Okay. The E12. The juggle looks e -12. nice. E the, the that car looks nice. It's a much bigger car. It's a saloon. And really, back in the days, it was like one of the top cars in the world. Do you work for the Motors? No, I work for Techniques for Oh, that's a Tom, right? Yes. I'm one in St. Davis. Oh, I always see that place. Do you want to see Tom? It's not a Tom? No, 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 or by our funds. Yes, yeah, what funds is your question? Funds. Oh, yeah. What's oh, you, um, you don't mind me asking. Um, how much have you got paid like, for the um, best car you've worked on? Oh, the best car? It depends. Let's say if you're doing a restoration, say one of those cars that you bring up on the computer. A restoration for one of those cars, meaning you strip it down, 